Every living thing from one-celled algae to giant blue whales needs energy to survive. This energy comes from the food they eat. Let's explore how energy flows in nature through food chains. A food chain shows how each organism gets food and how energy and nutrients are passed from one organism to another or simply it describes who eats whom in the wild. For example, grass produces its food by using the energy from sunlight. A rabbit eats the grass, a fox eats the rabbit. When these organisms die, decomposers like bacteria and fungi break down their body and release the nutrients into the soil. Organisms in the food chains are grouped into categories called trophic levels. These levels are divided into producers at the first trophic level, herbivores at the second trophic level, carnivores at the third trophic level, and so on. Plants are the starting point of most food chains. They use sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to produce food through a process called photosynthesis. Plants are the producers, and all animals are consumers. We can also say that plants are autotrophs and all animals are heterotrophs. Some types of bacteria are also autotrophs. For example, bacteria living in active volcanoes use sulfur compounds to produce their food. This process is called chemosynthesis. The second trophic level consists of organisms that eat the producers. These are called primary consumers or herbivores. Deer, turtles, and many types of birds are herbivores. Secondary consumers eat the herbivores. Tertiary consumers eat the secondary consumers. There may be more levels of consumers before a chain finally reaches its top predator. Top predators, also called apex predators, eat other consumers. The arrows in a food chain indicate the direction of the energy flow. Energy from the sun to the producers and from the producers to all the consumers. Food chains can vary in complexity, sometimes containing multiple carnivores. Each link in the chain is vital, showing how energy is transferred from one organism to another. When we understand food chains, we see the intricate connections in nature. Every plant and animal has a role in the ecosystem, ensuring the flow of energy that supports life. So next time you see a plant or an animal, remember its place in the food chain and how it contributes to the cycle of life. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting explorations of the natural world. See you next time.